It's been so long, so long since I last recorded Universe Sandbox. I think it's been a month. It's been a month since my last video just because I've been getting so swamped of uh, different trips. I've been to Canada, I've been to uh, Austin, Texas, and I'm going to PAX. Uh, and I just keep getting uh, called into different recording sessions and there's not enough time for me to record, you know, these single player things. I'm actually thinking I want to have like a much bigger project in Universe Sandbox. I think I haven't done this yet. I think I want to create my very own solar system. I want to have my own planets. I want completely new planets. I'm not going to put in, well, I might put in existing planets, but then I definitely want to form them into something else. That way they are completely original. It's going to be my star. Can I make my own star? Wait, ooh. Hold on here, before I do anything, they updated Pluto, it looks like. Let's take a random known star. Well, here we go, random known star. What star sequence? Ooh, what's this thing? A star sequence? What would a star sequence be? It's like, it's a star that's kind of trying to be a star, but not really. It's like a Jupiter, but it's glowing. Let's add, yeah, let's just do a random known star. Okay, this is what I'm working with. This is my star. I don't really know how big it is. What what is the name of this thing? Where the fuck? It's HR seven one seven seven. For all the planets, should I just do a random rocky planet? All right, we're gonna do a random rocky planet right here. This is gonna be the closest planet to our star. It's gonna be very close. I'm gonna make it extremely close. All right, let's see here. What do we got here? What do we got here? What's it called? What's it called? This thing is a fireball, of course, because it's just outgassing. <laughs> Around this star. Is this thing called Walmart? Oh, I think it burned up. I think I just lost my planet because it just burned up. Okay, let's make it just a little bit further away. Alright, I don't really know how hot this is. What is this called now? Is it called Tacoma? This thing is still kind of outgassing, but I think it's a little bit better. I want to give this thing its own features. This is going to be the first planet from our star called... I'm going to rename this thing too. It's not going to be h and Block. HR717. This is going to be. Should I be like very creative and call it Zal? Because our our sun is called Saul. It's called Saul. But I think I'm gonna call it. What if I just call it Zed? The star is gonna be called Zed. Okay, that's what we're orbiting. It's a nice three-letter word. I like it. Okay, and this first planet is called. What the fuck is this thing called? It's called Tiskerna. Is this a really- is this a known planet, or is that just like a random name that was come up with? Tiskerna. It's a very concerned planet. It's probably a random name. Tiskerna. Its age is 5.4 days. The fuck? I'm gonna let that planet keep orbiting. I'm gonna add the third planet- or sorry, the second planet from the- from Zed. This is gonna be- what is it called? Ercustesis! They're all just like the same looking planets. I need them to actually become original. Okay, I'll leave the first one the way it is because it's kind of like Mercury. It's a very generic looking rocky planet. But this one, this one needs to be cool. Let's, uh, let's do something here. <laughs> Should I just leave the names as they are? Ercustas. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna like fiddle with these things. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. Silica, yeah. Should I add some water on her? Ooh. Let's leave it as, let's make it like that, okay? It's like a green, a green rocky planet with some lakes, I guess, of water? If that's even possible. This might actually be a habitable planet. I don't know what the habitable zone of this planet is, but let's keep going further and further out. This one, oh my god, is this planet called Oreo? What the fuck? It's called Oria. Aurea. It is a blue planet. Ooh, it could be like Earth, actually. Let's edit this one. Add some water. Look at that. Oh, this is the habitable zone. It's actually... Let me if I can, like, drop the water just a little bit. I want... Oh, my God. This is the Earth, basically. This is Orsa. Orsa! <laughs> I want to really make this thing have a climate, although there's not, it's not giving me an option for a climate. One point... It had the surface pressure of... The atmosphere is 1.03 atmospheres. This is basically an Earth that we have right now. Instead of just placing planets, you know, just like one by one by one by one, what if we did something really cool with this solar system or this Z? What would this be called? Is the Z system? Is it just the Z system or the Zedder? Zedish? Zedish system? <laughs> I fucking know. 
but what if we maximize the potential of this habitable zone? Like, why have one planet in the habitable zone? And why make planets far away and you have to wait until orbits are aligned so you can get, like, the most efficient, like, like you know, launch from a, some space program? What if we had a binary planetary system? So a random rocky planet right here and it happens to have water. So let's have these guys orbit each other and we'll have crazy tidal forces please oh god okay so it's got a little bit of an elliptical orbit that's actually very very unstable and it makes me a little concerned but uh hopefully no one dies that gets awfully close that that would be terrifying if you lived on this planet if you had the moon getting that close to the planet can i like get rid of this here i want to have a legitimately stable solar system like I, you guys want chaos you guys i know you guys like chaos but i want yeah i don't think it's gonna be possible for them to have stable orbits it's going to be they're pulling on each other so i guess that's all we're gonna be able to do oh well i guess uh let's fuck <laughs> let's make it a little bit further away there we go that way they're kind of like moons for each other and then when they get really close shit's gonna happen let's look at this one this one spawned of water as well and it has a bit different geography Riminutsi. Actually, how about we just have Orsa and Oria? Here we go. I, fuck, I'm getting all the names wrong. Oria and Orsa. Bam. It's like Anna and Elsa and Frozen. And they could be frozen planets. If this is going to be the, uh, the Earth of our Zed system, we have to give it a moon. We have to give the system our very own moon. And what if I can get... Let's get a random moon. What if I have a big moon like a, a moon up with a very wide orbit maybe i can get this to be very stable okay so we got what is this thing called what is this very small moon called this is called it's called akis akiap welcome to the akiap moon and it looks like a very small planet this is actually pretty cool <laughs> not gonna lie okay so that's the oria and orsa oria and orsa system that's pretty cool our oh, very own home system with the orbits that are probably going to be getting perturbed and i wouldn't be surprised if we come and look back on orsa and oria that's a dominant one here it's going to be oria that's a dominant one so that's three planets now we need to start adding the planets that are going to start getting a little too cold it's going to be our very own mars our next planet is called skunu skunusaku and it looks to be an ice planet. And I'm gonna mess with this stuff. This is gonna be like a freaking iron planet. It's gonna be made of pure iron. And there's gonna be some water. Oh my god, I can make it like a complete water planet. What if it was just all water? It's just a complete ice ball. Let's do that. Let's have it like the, the most water is going to be on this planet. This is gonna be like our very own water world. And this one still appears to be habitable. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. I never actually looked at the surface temperatures. Ooh, actually, I think we're a little bit, like, on the inner side of the habitable zone. This is 150 degrees out on these planets. And yet, for some reason, there's not a lot of water. I think it's probably because it's boiling away. So we're actually still well within the habitable zone of this place. There's a lot of worlds. There's going to be a lot of intelligent life. There's going to be people who are going to like the tropical life. And some people who are going to like the, uh, the Arctic life. <laughs> And they're going to be on separate planets. So now I've really sped this up. I just keep checking up on the Orsa and Orsa and Oria system. <laughs> and then we got our moon here. This is relatively stable. We actually managed to get a binary planetary system. Orsa is not really budging. There are some tidal forces. But I don't think anything is going to be crashing into each other here. So that is really good. I can... I can just leave them alone to behave, <laughs> hopefully. Well, if we're still within the habitable zone, let's get some more terrestrial planets. Like, why do we only have to have four terrestrial planets? Let's have five or even six. We can get a bunch of terrestrial planets. And let's make one that's kind of, I don't know, they just happen to be close together. So let's have this next one go in. It's called what? It's called Rufust. Rufust. And it's another rocky planet. All right, so I guess this is where it's called minus 117 degrees Celsius for some reason. Okay, what happened between this planet, 
where it's 128 degrees Celsius, and this planet where it's minus 117 Celsius. Maybe there's just a default temperature or something that uh, gets placed down, but I'm gonna do some my own customizing here. I'm getting a little tired of the same rocky look. I'm gonna start launching some asteroids <laughs> at these things. I'm gonna launch Ceres out here. There we go, got a nice crater on there. Crater, 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 crater. Just get bombarded, there we go. Just heat up the planet, what the fuck? Now it's just nothing but water. Oh, now it's at 41 degrees Celsius. It's a complete water planet now. There we go. Yeah, something like that. So this one actually, for all we know, could be the most habitable planet. I think I fucked up. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I have to clean all this stuff up now. There we go, just keep decorating it more with craters. I'll get all this stuff when I'm done with this. And then there will be a nice, pretty looking planet. Although I think I made the surface temperature probably really, really hot now because I <laughs> there were so many <laughs> different impacts. But that'll cool down eventually. We got a lot of craters. There we go. That way it's its own original looking thing. Ooh, look at this. What's going on here? This this is now all starting to melt away. It's at 138 degrees Celsius. Water is starting to come back, and I'm liking this blue glow that's around this planet. I wonder if there's anything cool I can add. What if I add some rings? Nice ring to this planet. Ooh! I just added a nice ring to this thing! Oh, a nice ge oh, it's a geosynchronous ring to the planet Skundaskgu. I want it to add a different ring. Add a ring. Yeah, yeah, cool ring like that. Um, what the fuck is this planet now? <laughs> Look at this cylinder ring I have now. <laughs> I don't even think that is physically possible. Why would there be a cylindrical ring orbiting? It's not orbiting the planet at all. It's just... What the hell? Don't like... Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. My geosynchronous orbit now. My ring is like getting all perturbed. It's just kind of being squeezed like a jelly bean. It looks like a jelly bean now. <laughs> this is an interesting planet. I, I'll, I'll let it stay as is. Sure, that's our nice, unique-looking buddy there. You know, now I want to add a ring to these planets. Let's see what happens here. Let's have Aurea have a ring while we have a planet orbiting it. Let's see. Let's slow it down a little bit. Slow it down, and then we're gonna add our own ring. Then suddenly we'll just see impacts. Whoa! Oh, that fucked it up. Oh, now I got. Now I gotta like add, add all that. Let's see how. Watch that fuck shit up. Oh my god, that's badass. Oh, and then eventually, we're just gonna have stuff scattered everywhere. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I wanna add another one. Add another one. Add another one. Keep adding them, and then this is a bunch of shit! Oh, this is cool. It's just gonna end up being, like, very spherical. Is this gonna end up fucking up the orbit at all? Like, how much mass is that? That's so cool! It's like we just have a swarm of bees around this planet now. This is a completely hostile planet. Is there even an atmosphere on this place? Like, I haven't really been following this planet too much. It's 161 degrees Celsius. Greenhouse effect, atmosphere. No atmosphere on this planet. I think we need an atmosphere. There we go. Yeah, there's a nice atmosphere on this planet. That would, so that would me will make it probably get a little bit hotter then. Okay, I think we have completely lost our rings now. Everything is all scattered out in space. Lots of asteroids, and then it's eventually all just gonna scatter around the solar system. Now I just want rings everywhere. <laughs> I like the rings, especially on this one. That's pretty cool. I like how this ring is playing out. It's just starting to turn into the spiral. Let's add another geosynchronous one. More geosynchronous rings! Now it's like a yin-yang or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a little worm squeezing through the hoop. Alright, what new planet have we added? We've added the planet Tortoise! A tortoise planet! And it's the same looking planet. God, we really, we really need some more variation of these planets. It's just all the same looking thing. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that one as is. It's just a random rocky planet. Alright, well, I guess we have, f like, f six planets now. Aurea <laughs> is a complete mess, making a mess throughout its orbit, but eventually that's all gonna end up diluting, and it's just gonna, be it's almost like it's gonna create its own asteroid belt. 
a very small asteroid belt, and it's just kind of going through it. And this one's got all the rings, very, very interesting looking rings. And then should I create an asteroid belt? Maybe I can do that. Add an asteroid belt. Random asteroid. Let's just have a bunch of random asteroids just going all throughout here. All orbiting around. Shit's gonna go crazy. That's our asteroid belt. No idea what the names are, but I want to see that all play out. Now we got a bunch of crap everywhere. Great, I love it. Can't even do shit anymore because I got too many asteroids. No! Or is it the rings that are screwing things up? Probably the rings. The rings are messing everything up. No.